Alrighty, so as you come around the driveway to the house, to my brain the house is backwards because the front of the house is over there facing up the hill, which is where the road is, and in the back of the house faces out to the valley. So if you want to go to the front door, you got to go up and around the house, which just, oh, okay, but I don't know that that makes a lot of sense. So anyway, um, we'll kind of pull up here a little bit. So two car garage, uh, openers on both doors, and then patio up and down, really nice. Uh, going around this way, you got the the triangle window there which Christina wants to put a uh, stained glass window in there because that's going to catch morning sun so that'll be really nice coming up this way it's a haul up that hill too a little bit of a parking area there and then the front of the house front porch and so on and then like I say you go that way and there's, there's really nowhere to go <laughs> So, some really nice trees up in there, though. A big old maple in the background. That's an oak, I think, right here, close. And then others. So, I don't know what they all are yet. i got to figure it out. Once they come into leaves, leaves um, I'll uh, be able to figure out what they are. But I do know there's at least one shagbark hickory right there. And another little one right here. And then, yeah, I passed that, I couldn't tell you. Lots of trees. So, and most of these up here are healthy and fine. I think there might be an ash or two up in there that I'm gonna have to take out because they're dead. But we'll find out this spring, so I'm not gonna mess with it right now. So anyway, there's the front of the house. And yeah, I'm gonna walk you back around to the back and go in the back. So the view out over the property again. It's a pretty day. It's in the mid 40s right now, sun shining, and today is the day after Christmas, so it's supposed to be up to 50 something. Oh, so Direct TV dish. There's two more on this, and there's one on the uh, cabin. They're all going away because we don't need them. So, all right. So back around here. So yeah, big uh, finished space here, pool over there. Don't know what we're doing with the pool yet. So uh, these propane tanks feed, there's a mother-in-law suite slash whatever, but another kitchen down in the basement that has its own uh, stove and they feed that. That's all they feed. So I'm gonna go through the garage. Anyway, deck up there and we'll get up there in a minute. Go through the garage. So they left us a heck of a mess. So all this garbage, all that garbage. This is the pump off the pool. This thing, it's an entertainment center. That pile of garbage. Uh, the stuff on that shelf there is mine, but that's left over. That all up there is left over. All that is left over, all the stuff down below. They, yeah. Never mind. More garbage there. All right, so if you come in here, uh, yeah, there you go. So behind these curtains, behind the curtain, ignore the man behind the curtain. Sorry, Wizard of Oz. Uh, this is our geothermal unit and water heater, if I can get a hold of it. There you go. So the water furnace is feeds the house and then the uh, water heater is also on the part of the geothermal so it's all a contained system. I'll just go around this actually I'll turn that light off. I hate reading lights behind me. I don't need them. This is actually the control panel for the water going through the house so fun and exciting. Back door leads out onto the patio. So here's the mother-in-law suite thing that I was telling you about. So, little four burner stove, um, sink, bathroom. It's a half bath, but it's there. And then storage, and that's our stuff in the storage. Uh, so, yeah, not horrible. Uh, the little wood stove there, uh, it's going to go away. 
and then we're going to put our pellet stove there so and then this is our uh, couch love seat sectional thing from the house and our, our junk there um, they left behind a projector and it projects onto the wall and no I haven't played with it at all yet so I don't know if it works or not but we'll figure it out eventually but yeah look at the mess of cables there so it's gonna be fun and exciting and hopefully this is coming out because it didn't turn on any lights but there you have it all right let's go upstairs up we go top of the stairs is a closet just a little one and then the what we're calling the guest bathroom let me turn the lights on all right so actually there's more lights wait there's more if I, nope not that, that one. Oh god that's bright all right so double vanity bathtub as a shower kit or you want to call it um so yeah and then the commode and all that all right this massive door we're talking about taking this door off and into bedroom number one uh this was the daughter's room and yeah somebody was very creative and this is supposed to be the sun and all the planets around it and all the glow in the dark stars yeah it's gonna be fun we have to get all that off the ceiling so we can repaint in here um yeah but nice big closet back here kick that on and these speakers were on the wall out in the dining room but we'll I'll show you that in a minute so that's bedroom number one and we go around this way down the hall and bedroom number two this is the one we're actually using right now which is why the windows are covered because there's no curtains um, this one has a nice big closet get it you can see nice big closet plenty of space there uh, this is going to be the guest bedroom when it gets all done. I don't know if it's going to get painted or not, but that's the bed going to be here. So, yeah. A uh, little closet here at the end of the hallway. So, we're using that for linens right now. All right, master bedroom. Uh, that light, we're just going to get replaced with a ceiling fan, partly because... It's got some kind of a weird light bulb that isn't even in it. So I don't know what kind of light bulb to get to replace it. So we're just gonna replace the whole thing. We like ceiling fans anyway, so. Uh, the closet for the master bedroom is teeny tiny, but it's functional, we'll, we'll figure it out. And then the chair was left here, the TV was left, it was sitting outside. <sighs> anyway and messy messy this is the bathroom um we've been working on getting this cleaned the vent doesn't work um yeah so even after scrubbing several times it's still not great look at all the yeah the wife's like yep we're replacing that I'm like, oh, okay i don't have a problem with that anyway big tub tub works we haven't tried it yet but it does work um and then window looking out and she's talking about putting stained glass on that too and the throne so yeah all right so that's the bedrooms three bedrooms and then you see the door I'm like that's a massive door it swings into the hallway so when it's all the way open like this it blocks the second or the first bedroom and I might be able to flip it around to where it swings in here, but the rail's there. So, and there's really no place to put the rail there. So like I said, we're talking about just taking that off. All right, front room. I'm just gonna stand here and kind of swing. That's the front door. That's our wall unit and our TV and our hutch. Uh, that bump out there is where the washer and dryer is. We'll get there in a minute and then coming on around dining area so nice big open space i haven't measured it to tell you what it is but there's the inside of that window that you're seeing from out there the beams pardon the glare so and looking at the kitchen 
so they left well so yeah that was all left behind there was actually five big garbage bags full of stuff sitting there we've gotten rid of most of it um this is mostly adult beverages so yeah uh, the refrigerator was left half full of half eaten food and like leftovers and stuff like that and just disgustingly filthy it's been cleaned but it still ain't great um the uh stove top has the wrong jets in it it's set up for propane or for natural gas not propane and it's really chintzy so we're actually going to replace that we're going to replace the lovely microwave i don't know how well you can see it but they used jb weld to put this handle back on and it's just yeah uh, so kitchen sink the sink is in great shape too because this comes right off <sighs> anyway all the windows were filthy you can see kind of the dead bugs in them that's been cleaned it needs to be cleaned again i just got here this morning so anyway cabinetry and a lot of most of that stuff over there they left behind so, i mean the cleaning supplies this is our stuff here uh so anyway double ovens dishwasher uh this has a has the two of these in it for trash cans but that was oh my god that was disgusting inside most of the cabinetry is filthy inside so we've been scrubbing there was a big table and plants sitting here that i don't know all right the utility room or actually laundry room slash pantry so samsung washer and dryer they do work so that's good uh, and then storage over here this is this stuff is ours the chair was here they left us that chair and it's it's okay it's a chair so this was added on i don't know when this was put in but it may not stay with us for very long and then floor is a tile floor kind of a stone tile fake stone tile thing um the wife doesn't like it because it's not even which means it's hard to clean and then more of this this is a butcher block top but it's yeah we'll see <laughs> all right so just to go out this is one of the things that sold us on this house is the view off the back porch this is the table that was in the kitchen window so that's the master bedroom through there but uh yeah massive deck up here so down below there's a fire pit thing don't know um but we own over there that weeded air, weedy area there we own to the other side of it and then up the hill and up over the hill actually so yeah the uh sycamore tree here in the valley has been being used for target practice there's another sycamore over there uh, and i don't think it's been shot at but maybe hopefully not because the neighbors are up the hill there's a is up there and then there's four houses there and one house back there and i think that one and one of those is a rental but they're all part of that lake area and then like i say we've got the pond down here you see the water flowing or maybe you can't but there's water flowing pretty hard through that Walk in there. all right so i'm going to end this here and i'm going to go down there and film around the